Good morning and welcome back into North Dakota today. At Otter Cove Children's Museum, imaginations are transported to a special place just for them. Katie Gano from the Children's Museum is here to talk about their upcoming pancake breakfast fundraiser. Good morning. Good morning. Well, thank you so much for being here. This is very exciting. Yes, thanks for having me. <laughs> yes, of course. So tell us about the event. Yeah, so Otter Cove has partnered with the Fergus Falls Noon Kiwanis to offer the Character Pancake Breakfast. This is our fourth year doing the event, um, and it serves as a fundraising event for both of our organizations. Mm -hmm. um, and really, it's a chance for kiddos and grown-ups to, to come and meet their favorite princesses, superheroes, book characters, um, get their pictures, get their autographs. Um, and then there's lots of fun um, activities throughout the event as well. Plus, they get a delicious pancake breakfast. It's a win, 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 win. Yes. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh, and these photos that we're cycling too, they really look just like the characters. Oh, yeah, it really, it's just a really magical event, especially you see those kiddos, their faces lighting up. It's just, yes. it's so fun. Absolutely, so you mentioned this is the fourth year of doing yes. this event. I bet people are excited then. Yes, this has become a really big event and we've had a few, you know, interruptions due to COVID, so yep. it's nice to kind of be getting back into our groove, but people really look forward to this event every yes. year. Yes. So yeah, you mentioned, is this something that families really keep coming back to? They do, yeah. It's really fun to watch as kiddos get older and maybe their preferences change or they have it. They discover a new princess or superhero. Uh, so it's really fun just to be part of that tradition. Absolutely. So you mentioned pancakes, you mentioned the meet and greet. Is, are there any other activities going on? Yes, there is so much. There is, it's going to be hard to fit it all yes. in. We'll have um, face painting from the Painted Turtle. Mm -hmm. um, Clueless the Balloon Twister will be doing balloon animals. Wow. There's going to be a dance party with some of the characters. We do a local celebrity story time. So Ooh. like the Fergus Falls mayor is doing, he'll be reading a story. Our children's librarian, mm -hmm. uh, lots of folks will be doing a story time. Plus there's going to be some art activities, both from Otter Cove as well as the Cadets Art Gallery. Plus there will be uh, Dippin' Dots and Cotton Candy as well. So it's, it's gonna be a packed morning. Yes, certainly. You're keeping them busy then, huh? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and sugared up and then we'll send them home. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Well, you mentioned so many events, so many fun things going on this morning. Is there one that's a favorite? Oh gosh, you know, it really depends on the kid. Most yes. of them, it's meeting the characters mm -hmm. and getting their picture taken, getting their autograph. That really is the most special part of the event. Absolutely. Well, you mentioned that this event is kind of a dual fundraiser. How important is that? You know, really critical for both of our organizations, you know, Otter Cove, we are a nonprofit, so mm -hmm. we do rely on uh, donations, those fundraising events, just to be able to make the museum operate. Yes. Um, and so it's really great that we're able to partner with another local organization that serves children and families um, to really, you know, maximize the event, um, have more volunteers, more mm -hmm. folks to really help make it happen. Uh, so it really is, it really is important to both of our, our missions. How does it feel for you personally to help put on this event and you know see these families creating memories and the smiles on these kiddos' faces? It is so fun. It just it really makes all of the hard work worth it. Mm -hmm. And as you know, I've got two little kids myself, yes. and so I really you know seeing that uh, that joy in their eyes, that excitement, it just it makes it all so worth it. Well, you've sold me. I mean, I need to get my ticket to this event. It sounds like a blast. Speaking of that, though, where can folks find more information and then grab their tickets? Yeah, best place to go is our website, ottercoveff.org, and that will mm -hmm. take you to the uh, registration page. Early bird tickets are on sale through next Friday, so there's one week to go before prices go up. Wonderful. And then the date of the event, too. Yes, yeah, Saturday, April 20th, so just two weeks away from 9 to noon at Bethel Lutheran Church in Fergus Falls. Wonderful. Everyone, mark your calendars for that. It sounds like a blast. All right, anything else you'd like to share with our audience? Just want to do a huge shout out. This event really um, requires a lot of volunteer yes. hours. It really wouldn't be possible. We've got probably all in, probably about 50 volunteers that will be helping make this day happen. So I just want to make sure to, to recognize all of that hard work and commitment. Yes, it takes a village, huh? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. This truly sounds like such a fun event. So thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes. All right, everyone, this has been such a fun show today, but make sure to stick around. We still have your daily dose of motivation up next right here on North Dakota Today.